Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. In this video, we'll learn that how we can create while loop in our Solidity smart contract. As we all know that all the programming language has their own loop. In the same way, we have loop in Solidity programming language. Okay, so we're going to cover one of the loops, which is a while loop in this video. Okay, so here I've opened my Remix ID. Make sure to do that to continue where I am right now. So I'm going to give this command Solidity while loop. I'll create a contract. I'll click while loop, and here I'm going to define the syntax that how it will look. So let me type the syntax, and this is the condition you have to first you define the while and then conditions, and inside that you have to write the block and the piece of code which you want to execute and check. Okay, so I'm making this comment so you guys can have a reference. Okay, so let me comment this out. So this is the syntax part. Now let's check this in private. So I'm going to create a couple of variables. So first is going to be let's say unt array okay so what i will do i'm going to create a function and with the help of while loop i'm going to add the number into this array okay so that's what i'm going to do with the help of while loop i'll take another unt this will call unt8 and initial value is going to be zero okay now let's create a function i'll call it loop public return and i want to return an array so memory okay here I'm going to create the while loop okay so I will define the keyword while and here I'm going to check for the condition so I'll say if j is less than 5 okay because I want to add only 5 elements into my array okay so I will increment the j and then I'm going to push that j into my array okay that's a very simple logic and then I'm going to return it I believe that you guys are familiar with JavaScript the same structure we have to follow here to push the data into array with the help of while loop okay so here i'm getting an error it's not a j it's a k so let me replace this one k k and k so that's the simple while loop we have written okay i believe that you guys have got the idea that how you can use it and now let's test this out okay so let's deploy the contract click deploy and here you can see the transaction went successful if you see the logs it's always very important that whenever you define any loops in your contract there is a high probability that it will exhaust your gas fee okay so adding loop in your contract it's never a good idea okay you should always try to avoid loops in your contract okay and you should always compare the gas fees which you are paying when you are running the loop okay so this is the entire execution cost transaction cost which i have paid let's open it and let's try to call this function okay if I call this function, you can see the transaction went successful. And if I open the transaction log, you can see I got five arrays into my data. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So right now I have five array. Okay. So you have to look at the execution code. You can see it's pretty high. So we should not include loops in our contract. Okay. Let's bring this down. And that's the basic example. I don't want to extend this video because that's the only thing you have to know about the loops that how you can create in your smart contract and you can check for any conditions. Okay, you can check for any condition in your smart contract. So that's how it will look. Hope you guys have got an idea that how the loops work in a smart contract and how you can create your own loop in solidity programming language. Okay. So that's the only thing I'm going to cover. Hope you guys have found this video valuable. If you are still questioned, doubt to leave in the comment section. With that said, let's move to the next video.